Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer McGuire for Scrapbook and Cards Today. In our recent issue, I shared three different ways to add sparkle and shine to your handmade cards, including glitter in a very easy way, foil, and heat embossing. So I'm gonna show those techniques here in this video so you can get a better look at them. Let's get started with creating a shiny background with all glitter. So this background has some white and some gold glitter, and I'm gonna show you how to do the two colors in this fun pattern. This has a lot of shine in real life, so you can keep the rest of the card very simple. I'm starting with a piece of double-sided adhesive. This has release paper on both sides, so I'm going to remove one side of release paper first and stick this onto a piece of white cardstock. Any white cardstock will work. Mine happens to be 80-pound cardstock. I think it's better to use a heavier cardstock instead of typing paper for this. So I'm going to remove the extra cardstock around the edge. I end up with a piece here that is four inches by four inches with white cardstock on the back, the double-sided adhesive on top of that, and then release paper right here on the top. Now we need to cut some slits into the release paper so we can remove areas a little bit at a time. So I'm going to first do two diagonal cuts using a straight edge and a cutting mat and I have my uh, craft knife here. Now when I cut along this, I'm not pressing super firm. I'm just kind of pressing lightly because I only need to cut through that top layer. We don't want to cut all the way through that cardstock in the back. You can see a, a little bit of, the cut, of this cut through the cardstock, but it's still remaining intact, so we're okay. So after doing the two diagonal lines, I'm going to also do two thin cut lines here down the center in both directions. So basically we're kind of cutting that release paper there on the top into basically like pieces of a pie. We can remove one at a time and add glitter to those areas. You can put as many cuts in this as you want. It just creates more rays kind of coming out from the center. Just make sure that each of your cut lines passes through that center point that you created by doing the diagonal lines. This is really quite simple and if all your lines don't meet up in the middle, that's okay because we're gonna put an embellishment in the center and it'll cover it up. If you wanted to do a simpler type of background, you could just do slits of stripes so you have a glitter stripe background. Once you've created all of your cuts, it's time to remove pieces of release paper so that you can add the first color of glitter. I'm going to remove one little pie piece of release paper and then every other piece after that. This will allow us to alternate between a white glitter and a gold glitter. So after I've done my first round of removing release paper, it's time to add our gold glitter. I'm using this um, Elizabeth Crafts Design glitter. It's super fine and it is great for techniques like this. When you put this on this double-sided adhesive and rub it in, it doesn't come off in the envelope. So it's a really good fine adhesive that's just beautiful. So now I'm gonna have a mess here because glitter is messy, but the trick to handling glitter is to use a Swiffer uh, dusting cloth. This is a product that you can get at the grocery store and it is great for keeping glitter in control. So I have my Swiffer dusting cloth ready there. I just cut off a small piece, you don't need much. And now I'm using my finger to really rub that glitter into the double-sided tape. Once I've rubbed it all in very nicely, I'm going to take my dusting cloth and just wipe off all the excess that's on the release paper. And I also wipe away my background. And look at I have completely cleaned up that glitter and I don't have a mess. Those dusting cloths are great for containing glitter. Okay, so now we, it is time to go and remove the release paper from the remaining areas. And this will expose the adhesive for our next, uh, our next color of glitter. This time I'm using kind of a shiny white glitter. I'm going to shake that over the entire piece. Now you can use other types of glitter, but I highly recommend to get the finest glitter you can find. This will make sure that it really gets into your um, double-sided adhesive and doesn't rub off. Now I'm using a bone, bone folder finally to really rub that into the adhesive. And there we have a glitter background that is just so much fun. To finish this off, I die cut a heart and a hello greeting, added that to the center, and put it on a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch white note card. This glitter background is really fun and a great way to create a simple card with lots of interest. So let's go ahead with our second technique for adding shine to your handmade cards. And this one involves gold foiling. Now there are many ways to do foiling on cards and this is by far the fastest. And it creates these gold foil stripes that you see in the background. Now for this, I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white note card and some double-sided adhesive tape. Now any double-sided adhesive tape will work for this technique. And the great thing is you can get it in a variety of widths so you can have more bold stripes if you want to. If you don't have any tape and you only have double-sided adhesive sheets, you can cut strips from that too. 
Now I'm using the grid line on my work surface to make sure that these are evenly spaced. However, you really could eyeball it and be just fine. Once I've put all my stripes down, I'm just going to flip it over so I can easily cut the excess that hangs off the edge. Now for today's foiling, I'm going to be using some foil from ThermaWeb. There are many different brands out there. I really like this one. I'm using gold foil. Now this foil can also be used for heat transfer techniques where you need a laminator or whatever, but I'm not doing that today. You don't need any heat for today's technique, but you can still use this foil. I'm just using my craft knife to carefully remove the release paper from each of our double-sided adhesive stripes that we've created here. This will expose the adhesive, and that's all you need to make this foiling technique work. So after I've removed each of the little pieces of release paper, you can see all the adhesive stripes there, I'm going to lay the foil with the pretty side, the gold side, facing up, and I'm going to rub that down onto the adhesive. And you really want to make sure you rub that as much as you can with your finger, or as I prefer to do, with the bone folder. As you rub this down with the bone folder, you'll see that the foil transfers onto the double-sided tape. And when you peel it off, you get those beautiful gold stripes in the background. Now there are many colors of foil out there that you can use for this. You can do pink or silver, whatever you want. And this is just a really great way to add a foil shine to the background of your note cards. I finished this particular card off with a stamped rose and a heat embossed sentiment. Now keep in mind you could die cut double sided adhesive shapes and put it on a background and add foil to shapes also. You don't have to just do stripes. Okay, so this brings us to our third and final technique for adding some sparkle or shine to your cards. And this one involves heat embossing. And I did this on the die cut butterflies that you see here. Heat embossing is a great way to add a little bit of interest and shine to die cut pieces that you may have. So I have die cut some butterflies from some memory box dies, and I'm just going to temporarily adhere them to a strip of scrap cardstock. This is just kind of a holding piece so we can do heat embossing to those butterflies without burning our fingers. So I have a little inking tool here, a little sponge dauber. I'm dabbing it onto my Versamark ink, which is just a clear sticky ink that will hold embossing powder. Now I'm just rubbing that ink towards the center of the butterfly so the shine is towards the center and not out on the tips of the wings. You could use your finger to apply this ink if you wanted to also. Now I have some glitter embossing powder here. So this is a clear embossing powder that just happens to have some sparkle and shine to it. I'm going to put this over each of the butterflies and you can see it only sticks where we put the ink. And if you want to kind of brush some of that powder away from the outside edges you can with a clean paintbrush. After I've done this, I'm just going to uh, heat this with my heat gun, and you'll see you get like a darker, shinier area towards the center of the butterflies. This is just a nice way to add some sparkle and the look of dimension. Sparkle embossing powder like this is a great way to add a sparkle and shine without having to worry about it rubbing off because it really stays in the powder and it doesn't rub off to the touch. Now I decided I also wanted to kind of darken the outside tips only of our butterfly. So I'm using the inking tool just to add a little bit of the ink around the outside tips of the butterfly. And then I'm just going to dip it into the embossing powder. So you can see the embossing powder is just on the outside edges. And then when I heat that up, that gives a little bit of shine and a little bit of the darkness to the outside of our die cuts. This is a great way to take a plain cardstock die cut and give it a little bit of interest. You can do this to pattern paper die cuts also if you want. I love die cutting and it's a great way to use up scraps and this is a great way to add some interest to them. Now for the butterfly, uh, the bodies and the little antenna, I just take some silver string and I wrap it around a few times the, around the butterfly's body and then tie it into a double knot at the top and that becomes the antenna. Now I did also want to show you how I put this card together. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card that I used an embossing folder on. And I cut about three quarters inch off the front of the note card. That's so that the butterflies kind of hang off the edge there, but it still fits inside of an envelope. Just added those with some strong adhesive and a die cut sentiment. And I really think it makes a big difference to have that little bit of shine in the center of those die cuts. Otherwise it'd be a pretty simple looking card. So there you have three ways to add sparkle and shine to your cards. First with glitter, next with foiling, and third with heat embossing. Thank you for watching, and for more information, visit Scrapbook and Cards today.